Hi, I'm Denshi, and in my last comfy Linux tutorial, I was quite rude and left you with this blinking terminal after the Gentoo installation. If you're like most users, you probably want a graphical environment, some kind of GUI to play around with your system instead of just the terminal. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Xorg and everything you need for a working desktop on Gentoo using the DWM window manager. To begin this tutorial, we're going to go back to the eSelect tool. Now, if you remember that tool, we used it last time to select profiles and, and locales and, and languages and stuff. And today we're going to be using it to select a different profile than what we have. If you run eSelect profile list, you'll see there's many, many different profiles. In fact, so many that my terminal can't show all of them because the font is too big. The important one to look at is the first one on the screen, the very, very top one, which is number five. Default, Linux, AMD 64, 17.1, and then desktop. That profile over there is the profile we need for all the base packages for functioning desktop. It does not contain Xorg or any kind of window manager or desktop. Today, we want to set things up a little bit more custom. So we're going to go for the fifth profile, eSelect, profile set and number five and there you go it's set if you run the eselect profile list command again you see that the five has a little blue star next to it and that means that we have selected it anyways with that done there's a few more things we do want to do before we begin now if you remember well from last time profiles don't only set packages they also set use flags to list our use flags we used emerge dash dash info which lists information about the system and then we took that command and piped it into grep and ran it with a hat symbol and use to do everything after use. Now, as you can see, there's many, many, many more use flags here than there were last time when we compiled the Gen 2 base system. There's stuff like Bluetooth and things like X264 and just X for the Xorg server, stuff that just wasn't there last time. So we're gonna be going through and disabling anything we don't need. To do all of that, once again, we have to customize our use flags in Etsy, portagemake.conf. Now going down to the use section, we're gonna put a minus in front of everything we don't need. Now some things I do recommend is disabling GNOME and KDE dependencies because we definitely don't want anything from those package groups. We also wanna disable things like Bluetooth if you don't need it. Maybe CUPS, which is printing support and I don't need any of that. I don't want any DVD, DVD-R or CDR support. For now, that's a pretty comprehensive list of all the use flags I don't want on my system. Anyway, you know, control O, pressing enter, control X to write and quit. Now that we've set our use flags, we got to actually compile and recompile all of our packages. Now, one thing I will say is that compiling a desktop takes a very, very, very long time. There's many more components and libraries and things to download. And we're going to be adding Xorg and DWM on top of that, which is just going to add more stuff to compile. One thing I will say, though, is that there are workarounds and little tricks we can use to make things faster. The big example for me is Rust. Now, Rust is a big package that is included in the desktop. We can't just disable it, but we can install a binary of it instead of compiling it from source. The Gen2 maintainers are clever and they maintain this package, rust-bin, which you can install with the emerge command. I'm gonna give this the dash V option, make the output verbose. I'm gonna press enter. And as long as things are good, yeah, there you go. It's installing Rust as a binary. But anyways, with Rust out of the way, we can finally update all of the at world set on our system and also install Xorg and DWM. To do that, we're gonna run emerge dash dash deep dash dash new use because we changed our use flags dash dash update and dash dash verbose at world and xorg server to make sure we install the xorg server and dwm because we want that system now pressing enter it should begin downloading and installing everything however we may get an error regarding use flags and i'll show you how to fix that if it occurs Okay, so we did get an error regarding use flags. It says over there that media-libs free type, so that's a package on our system, requires the harf buzz tag. To fix that, we're gonna go into Etsy portage make.conf once again, and we're going to add that to our use flag. So once again, if a use flag is not enabled on your system, you can add it explicitly here. So we're gonna type harf buzz. One important thing is to not put a minus in front of this because we don't want to disable it, we wanna keep it enabled. Control O, press enter, control X and run that command again, and hopefully this time it won't give us any grief. 
Okay, so it appears that everything is compiling and installing. It's still running through all the dependencies and pre-merge checks. Oh, we're looking at 213 packages. Wow, that's quite a lot. So this is going to take a long time. This is gonna take upwards of an hour or two hours to compile all these packages. So I will come back in a while. Okay, so all the packages have been compiled, but before we actually do anything, we should install a few more extra things. The thing that comes to mind is network management, so network manager is an important dependency to install. Elog and D and Dbus are of course important. And one thing that really does come to mind is group management, but we can do all that later and add our user to the video and audio groups. So I'm just gonna let this compile and let it go. Okay, so now that all the packages have been compiled, we do wanna enable network manager at boot so we get networking supported and things like the Wi-Fi GUI and stuff and many desktop environments. So to do that, we can run rc-update then add a network manager and default. And that should add the network manager service to the run level default. So it starts at boot. And with that, we can finally reboot our system and all the services like Dbus and login CTL should be activated when we come back. Okay, so we're back in Gen 2 and logging in as Denshi with my password. It's now time to set up the exinit script. So if we copy over Etsy x11 exinit and I think it's uh, exinit rc to dot exinit rc in our directory and then use nano to edit dot exinit rc. You'll see there are many, many lines here, but we want to go straight to the bottom where it says exec. And we want to, first of all, we want to get delete all of these various uh, programs because we don't want any of those. We don't want Xterm or TWM. We're not going to have any of those. We're only going to run one thing, and that's exec DWM because we're going to start it. Now running control O, enter and control X. One thing that has occurred to me is that we don't have a, a terminal emulator. So running sudo emerge st should hopefully give us one. So just giving this a second to compile because st is quite quick to compile. And uh, yeah, there you go, it's already compiled. Yeah, the magic of using suckless tools. Anyways, now that we have that, we can run start X. And here we are in DWM. Running shift alt enter will open our terminal. We can even do alt like this to move it and resize our terminal. And as with always, we got our own screen fetch. There you go. There's my Gen 2 graphical environment. Uh, running uh, control, running shift alt enter again to get another window and um, I guess we can run, I don't know, free-8 to see the memory we're using. Yeah, we're using 100 megabytes of memory. How how efficient. One thing you definitely might want to try is installing some kind of web browser. So over here, my fancy little terminal, I'm going to run sudo emerge firefox-bin. Just like you can get binaries of Rust, we can also get a binary of Firefox. But when we try to do this, you'll notice something interesting. You'll notice we're gonna get another use flag error. There you go, pulse audio this time. We can fix that, however. So running sudo nano the netsy portagemake.conf, we can go down here and add pulse audio to our use flags and write that. And then if we run sudo emerge firefox bin, you'll see that it'll actually let us install Firefox this time. So this might take a sec, might take a long time, but once this is done, you will have Firefox. But besides that, I think from this step onward, most users shouldn't have an uncomfortable time dealing with Gen 2. We have a graphical environment with the proper authentication and everything set up. Now you might want to install a few more fonts and of course stuff for your web browser, maybe a file manager, maybe things like that, maybe a, a fancier terminal emulator or your own custom build with DWM or ST. But besides that, all the basic configuration is covered there. You want to install the desktop set, you want to install Xorg and a window manager of choice, a terminal emulator, and you want to make sure that Elog and D and Dbus are installed as well. Besides that, I've been Denshi. That was a Gen 2 graphical install. Goodbye.